Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to GOA Fish Van. I'm back again with another video. And today, I will be telling you more about the reason why you should pick up from where you stop, why you should delve into fish farming business. And for those of us who are into it, who stopped for one reason or the other, why you should start again, the secret behind fish farming business. If you are new to this channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button, comment, and leave any question for us at the comment section. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you know, we just had some harvest from about a few months ago. And uh, people have been asking me, how do I start? How much can I use to start? What's the mood? So today, I'll be sharing the secret as to profitability. I'll be sharing the secret as, as to make it in fish farming. Now, yes, before, fish farming used to be 100% profit. But now, to be uh, factual, it is no more 100% profit. So it's around 50, 60. And uh, 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 even the fact that you even 50 percent is still lucrative so but how do you go about it you need knowledge and you need your capital these two works per repas so if you have knowledge and you don't have capital you are going nowhere fish farming business if you have capital and you do not have the knowledge you might not really be making the necessary profit or that even if you don't run into loss because it's easy to lose your money in fish farming. In fact, I personally, I too have run loss, I've had harvest of loss based on. So you have to make sure that you are consistent. Now, what do you have to do? As at the moment, fish farm consists of different mode of operation. If you are a starter, listen, if you are a starter, though if you know your capital is not that, unless you have around 50,000 or 200,000, you can start. Now, such a person will not say you want to go and buy land, you want to go and look for... No, what you just need to do is, look, there are farmers who have farms, but they are no more using them. Just go and rent it. Rent such farm, maybe for 5,000 or 2,000 that amount, or 10,000, or let's say 50,000 per year, depends on the location and all. If you rent such, make use of such farm. Maybe the person that has tarpaulin that is no more using, maybe it's an empty uh, 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 van or it is a, 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 a land like this even people use natural things that they are no more using anymore so we even have some at the back of our farms here so you can rent such farm once you rent the money you will pay for rent will not be you may say fifty thousand naira. and also now after that you just buy your given a given eye goes for in a five side for 20, uh, 35 naira one finger goes for 25 naira so if you buy fingerlings let's say you start by 100 pieces then you get your feet with just 150,000 or 200,000 you can start and making a huge profit from it but if you believe that you you don't have uh, up to that and you you, you have just five hundred thousand, you are good to go you don't necessarily have to buy with that you have to buy your own land. that's the mistake people make because right now if you want to start by getting a lot getting your own water resources now to get a ball to dig a ball is about six hundred thousand naira not in inclusive of even getting an underground tunnel and uh, you know i advise you that whenever you want to dig your uh bow make sure you contract the management or the or the company together that they are to dig the bow and also dig an underground tunnel where you will be discharging your water so to do this you'll be spending about close to eight hundred thousand dollars you've never started the fish farm already so i thought it involved starting very large at big if always a uh, uh, capital intensive it consumes a lot of capital so but with little capital you can rent a, the best way as a starter is to rent a place or at your backyard let's say this is like our backyard now you can just make a four coaches or you know you can make a four coaches just build it and then once you have these four coaches put your fish as small quantities and start now the another thing that you have to be careful of is getting the good breed of fish if you need good breed you can come to us at GOA fish farm we get your fingerlings and juvenile for you so, but if you do, it's not necessarily like we have only in the show state and Benin. But if you know you have other farmers in Benin, you can reach out to them. But make sure you get good breed. And also note that you have to differentiate what what is your mode of uh, uh, production. Are you do you want to do clarias or IB? I've told you, you want to do clarias there. That is three uh, quarter production in a year. But if you want to do hybrid, that is two quarter in a year. So please make sure you know what you know your owners, know what you are going for. So if you want to do clarias, you know you can do three, four four month, uh, uh, four four month production. But if you are going for hybrid, that's six six months. So that is one thing you have to know. So the, the cost of production also you have to make use of alternative feed so that this will cut down your cost of production. If you are not using alternative feed as at today on Nigeria today. 
believe you me, you will be having high cost of production and your profit will be so minute because by the time you sell to get to gather your profit, it might be because right now, uh, uh, let me give you the four sizes of fish that we sell at the moment. You know, you can either sell generally in Nigeria now, we are major buyers are let's say middlemen or direct smokers, people who smoke fish. So these people they will come to you, they will buy small, they will buy smokable size, medium size, or table size. These are the three sizes. Now, don't let them cheat you. If you want to buy medium size now, it goes for 900 naira. Smoke, uh, I mean smokable size, which is 900 naira. Medium size goes for 1,000. White table size goes for 1, 1 to medium. But if you are selling directly to the smoker, you sell for 1, 2. So, you have to be wise. Because you see all these medium men, when they come to your farm, they will say, yeah, no, that's how they do it. Where do you don't want them to do this? And just stay on your ground. That's why you should not be on pressure while selling. Because by the time you weigh and you sell to them, you notice that. But the best way market to sell to is if you have your direct customer. Welcome to hotels. Welcome to bars. You let them have. So, have people that you, you supply directly. Like, if you supply, when in our last production, we so were about to supply directly to direct customers about uh, 120 kg. And I can tell you that the money we made from that is even higher than the uh, over 200 kg that we sold to uh, 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 middlemen. So, but although middlemen is easy, they will come to your farm, come to the pond, you have it, they pack everything once. That's why we farmers prefer middlemen sometimes because it, uh, the, 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 those direct customers they buy in units. So, these are the secrets to how to make your profit in fish farming. So, if you are tired of it, fish farming, don't be tired. If you are hearing different rumors, don't be, just get the knowledge. You can follow our YouTube, subscribe. Let me even show you the little equipment that you'll be needing. Just few equipment. So, you, you will see all the equipment that you need for your farm. They are all to find and they are not expensive. So, just get them and start your business. Below are the mini equipment that you need for your fish, you see. You need a weighing scale of your own. You need an harvesting net. You see my harvesting net? You see my harvesting net? But if you can't afford an harvesting net, you can use mosquito nets. You can see. You can use mosquito net if you can't afford my harvesting net. You can also use mosquito net. And then you need in buckets. You see? Buckets. These are petty things. Buckets where you'll be putting your fish, you see? See my fish bucket. So, you see the bucket. You need in the bucket. You see. So these are the bucket. So these are the short or mini equipment that you need for your fish. So, if you have any question for us, these are the secrets I need to share with you on how we are making progress and how you can do it today. So, if you are new to channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button, comment, like, and leave any question for us in the comment section. Until the next video, stay blessed.